Patty's uncle actually used to run tours in this museum, so there's nobody better to show us around. This is a shoe repair. Oh, that's cool. Look at this. He has everything organized by its function. This is a display of washing machines. They can see the gears moving around and stuff. See, I can appreciate this because of the mechanics. Stuff that we take for granted nowadays that's very common was very special back then. To have a wash machine was a big deal. Oh, Frank, look at the base on that one. Oh, that is really cool. Look Mangles. At spring. Mangles. So is this something you guys would consider selling? Yeah, I would say this would this could go. This is called a Mangles machine. What it does is wring out clothes. It's a clothing press. The thing that's got me going about it is the ornate cast iron base. It's incredible. That's nice. Now, the last one I had of these was like an older restoration, and um, I think I got like five and a half out of it. This one's missing the wheels, so it's gonna be a little more difficult to move around, but the great thing about this is the presentation, yeah. the cast iron, yeah, it's Look great in a department store window. It's a display piece. That's a really good piece, though. Hi. I'd be a player at uh, 300. Go 350 on it, and, and you take this one. Uh, 310. I would say no and no. Now I'm starting to understand why Morris is here. He's not just a tour guide, the guy's a hell of a negotiator. Halfway's 325. I would go 325. <laughs> <laughs> All right, 325, I'm at 325. It's not the function that has my juices flowing, it's the form. The lines, the mechanical aspect of it is very cool. It's like a day-to-day -day treasure hunt. I'm out there looking for rusty gold. I'm looking for the unusual and impossible. It's back roads, it's dumpster diving, it's flea markets, it's people's homes.